Imagine your mind is like a clear bowl of water and the crystal represents your inner peace, your higher consciousness, your intuition and your wisdom. Now what you feed the mind affects how clearly you can see this inner crystal. The first set of thoughts that come in are happy thoughts. Happy thoughts and truthful thoughts are clear and light. So they're easy to still see and identify the crystal in the mind. But what happens when blue thoughts come in? With blue thoughts, we feel sad, we feel depressed, and it gives rise to our negative self-talk. As we go out through the world consuming modern media, we start to get green thoughts, thoughts of envy, thoughts of feeling not good enough, comparing ourselves to other, having ambition not based on pure intentions, but the need to be better than other people. And what happens with our attachments and our fears and our stresses and our hostility and our impatience? We get angry thoughts represented by red. And we think about these thoughts over and over and over and over again. And it stirs around and around and around and around in our minds until we can no longer see that crystal. The crystal is still there. It hasn't gone anywhere, but we just can't see it anymore. The practice and the process of meditation is like cleaning out the mind by pouring clear water inside. Focusing our minds on one thing, whether it's the breath or a mantra, and how often and consistently we practice meditation, how mild, medium, or intense the practice determines how fast we can clean out our minds. At first, it seems like a big, messy jumble. Things get stirred up. But as we employ non-attachment and let go of the thoughts that no longer serve us, it's like the water overflowing out of the bowl. And eventually, over time, gradually, the water starts to clear up and we get glimpses of the crystal inside our minds. And with more practice, with more practice, with more practice, the clearer the mind is, the more easy it is to connect with that crystal inside our conscious mind. And you'll see that the water eventually becomes clear, but there'll always be that tinge known as deep, deep, deep impressions in our minds that may always, always be there. But eventually, 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 our minds become clean and clear. <laughs>